22 Borgata Pacing Series. Open free for all. Start at the pick three. One is Mock and Cheese. Owned by Save the Day Stable with Tim Tietrick. Number two is Woodmere Steel Deal. Owned by Frank Brundle, driven by Mark McDonald. Three is Poseidon Sealster. Owned by Lindsay, Klein Paste, Alam Javik, and Bechtel, driven by George Brennan. The four is Dean B. Hanover. Owned by Mac Nickel and Blue Chip Bloodstock Incorporated. Paired with Jordan Strat. Number five is Nandolo N. Owned by Team Triton Incorporated. Jason Bartlett steers the current two to five choice. Number six is Belmont Major. Owned by Shigert Alley's Racing LLC with Tyler Buter. And rounding out the field, seven Elver Hanover. Owned by Melillo, Burke Racing, Jablonski, and JT Silver, along with Purnell and Libby with Yannick Jingra. Three races two through four. This field is on gate. They're off. Poseidon Seals, so left good start for the favorite Nandolo in the center, far outside. Elver Hanover's on the scene to mix it up. Away fourth was Dean B. Hanover. Mock and cheese for that inside post got away fifth. Around the turn, heading to the back stretch and on the outside, Elver Hanover. And Yannick Jingra takes the long shot to the lead, gets by Poseidon Sealster. Next, it's a heavily favored Nandolo third, ponders a quarter move, but in the meantime, out of the pocket pops Poseidon Sealster. Next and fourth going to the quarter is Dean V. Hanover. Two and a half break to a mock and cheese with Woodmere Steel Deal. And trailing is Belmont Major. Opening quarter was 26 and 3. As we move around the far turn the first time where Poseidon Sealster has the lead. The second choice here leads it by a length and a half over Elver Hanover. Still nothing yet. From Nandolo N and Bartlett keeps a watchful eye from third. It's a length and a half back to Dean B. Hanover fourth. And five off the lead. Then comes Mock and Cheese, the two at the back. Woodmere Steel Deal, who's a bit on that left line and trailing, is Belmont Major. So they go a half mile. It was up in 55-1 and one with one lap to go here in the Borgata Pacing Series. Leg two, and the leader remains Poseidon Sealster by just the length from the one-time leader, Elver Hanover. Nandolo's getting ready to roll now. Here comes Nandolo to the outside. Bartlett trying to get him motivated, though. Picking up the cover is Dean B. Hanover. Then it's a separation of three lengths more to Woodmere Steel Deal. Bach and Cheese is backing away. And then Belmont Major. It is Poseidon Sealster and Nandolo. Three quarters up, 123 and 1. A clear cut third is Dean B. Hanover. Dropping back sharply was Elver Hanover fourth. In between horses, fifth on the turn, Woodmere Steel Deal. As they move to the top of the stretch, and a stubborn Poseidon Sealster making Nandolo work for every inch. On the outside, Dean B. Hanover third, but Nandolo comes away now with a lead of a length. On the outside, Dean B. Hanover's moved to second. Nandolo N has made it two in a row. Second was Dean B. Hanover from Poseidon Sealster and Belmont Major. Really nice effort by Dean B. Hanover following, uh, following Nandolo in uh, to grab second. Well, uh... And two in a row for Team Tritton Incorporated's Nandolo N. Trained by Shane Tritton and Driven. Price is up. 5-4 exact or 11 dollars triple $23. Daily double three five eight dollars forty cents. Ten to four dollars sixty two cents. In the post parade, one is out to which way to the beach? Owned by Gino Toscani, driven by Scott Zeron. Three is semi tough. Owned by Baldacino, Burke Racing, J&T Silver, Purnell and Libby, and Weaver Buscemi with George Brennan. Number four, Town Gossip. Owned by Robert Weinstein, driven by Joe Bongiorno. Number five is Pat Stanley N. Jordan Stratton for Buker's Stable. Number six is the Andrew Harris train, Tyga Hanover. Owned by Thomas, Elizabeth, and Glenn Rankin with Tim Tietrich. Rounding out the field, seven, Captain Barbosa. Owned by Robert Danazi, Jason Bartlett, 
We'll bring him to the gate. It's the Borgata Pacing Series. Open leg, free for all. Leg two, start of the pick three. Barbosa, he did pace a 51 and two mile in defeat last time, so it's not like he was bad. I mean, he. This field is on gate. They're racing. Captain Barbosa had a quick start from the outside. Speeding up from the inside draw, which way to the beach? Going to the first turn, away third was Town Gossip and Semi Tough. Around the turn, offensive minded Bartlett and Captain Barbosa take a two length lead to the back stretch, but about to vacate the pocket. Here comes which way to the beach? Which way to the beach? Now on to a takeover that lead. It's three and a half back third. That's Town Gossip. Semi Tough is settled in fourth, six behind the leader. Then it's Pat Stanley, and slowest to commence is Tiger Hanover. That's the six-pack past the opening quarter in 27-3. and three. Moving around the far turn the first time, we're which way to the beach, and Scott Zeron lead it by a length and a half. But Captain Barbosa still keyed up in the pocket after that brief early advantage. Town Gossip right there, co-favored in third. Semi-tough is not far behind as they work the way to the half-mile pole. The two trailers, Pat Stanley, who will bring his best from off the pace, and still nothing yet from Tyga Hanover. It's about seven lengths from top to bottom. Which way to the beach? Gets a half mile in 57 seconds flat and maintains the lead. But looming in the pocket is Captain Barbosa at six to one. Length and a half back in third. Nothing but open road for Town Gossip. Town Gossip now given the green light and here he comes. Then a gap of two and a half lengths to Semi Tough. And Brennan asking the question. That one not responding yet. Then toward the inside is Pat Stanley and Tyga Hanover has made no impact on the field. The rat three quarters which way to the beach in 124 and 2. 27 and 2, third quarter. To the inside, Captain Barbosa. Town gossip sputtering while first over. Pat Stanley saves ground toward the inside. And then it's a second over, semi tough. Into the stretch. And which way to the beach? Bracing for Captain Barbosa. Down to the inside is Pat Stanley. Being produced on the far outside, semi tough. This is going to get very tight. Which way to the beach? Almost home. Which way to the beach? Every chance for Pat Stanley to get through. Captain Barbosa and Semi to the beach, and I note that Semi Tough struggling on the backside. Certainly uh, closed well late, late, late to grab fourth. Uh, but uh, again, Nifty Norman sends him over here. They're ready to go. He gets a four-year-old to win a leg. Mount Hope, Ontario, Canada, trained by our Nifty Norman, and a strong drive from Scott Zeron. Two five exact to thirty two eighty, two five seven triple one hundred thirty eight dollars. Pick three five eight two four twenty eight even. The pick four three five eight two nine hundred eighty nine dollars. Ten cent super nineteen dollars ten cent. Fifth race, we got a pacing series. Leg two start of the pick five. The guaranteed pool is ten thousand dollars. One is Groovy Joe, owned by Jeff Culifer and Pollock Racing LLC. The driver is Tim Tietrich. To his splash brother, owned by Schnitger, Arnold, Flannery, and Nola Bura racing with Tyler Buter. Three is Fun at the Beach. Owned by Mark Ford, driven by Jordan Strat. Number four is American Dealer. Owned by Kenneth Jacobs. And Enviro Stables Limited with Scott Zeron. Five is Dragon Said, owned by Mr. Robert Devine and driven by Joe Bongiorno. Six is Chase H. Hanover, owned by Carl Howard and Bottom Line Racing with Dexter Dunn. Seven is B2B, owned by Burke Racing. Stable and Weaver Bruchemi LLC with Yannick Jingra. Eight is Shuby Doo. Owned by Michael Casalino Jr. and Dylan Davis. Matt Kikeli will bring him to the gate. Start of the pick five. Two minutes for the fifth. We've got a pacing series. This is the second leg tonight. Start of the pick five. Gates in motion. Ready for the pick five. 
Racing. Splash Brother left with American Dealer from mid-pack. Toward the inside in third was Groovy Joe. Fun at the Beach came on between horses. Around the turn, heading to the back stretch, an American Dealer. And Scott Zeron quickly takes the lead and puts the favorite on the lead by a length and a half. Back to second is Splash Brother as they move across the back stretch the first time. Third is Groovy Joe. Fun at the Beach is settled back fourth. About five and a half lengths from the lead after a good start. Then it's D Dragon Set and Chase H. Hanover. The back markers are B2B. And Shooby Doo trails an eighth, 27 and four, posted in the opening quarter. On the far turn, they go the first time. And out on the point, leading it by a length and a half is American Dealer. Splash Brother sits the pocket with Groovy Joe third. Long shot, fun at the beach in fourth. Dragon set in fifth. Two to one second choice, sits about six off the lead as they work the way to the half mile pole. Looking to flush out cover. Dexter Dunn and Chase H. Hanover. Then we come back to the two trailers, B2B, and Shooby Doo will have to rally from about nine lakes out. They go a half mile, 57 and two, with one lap to go, and the favorite in charge. It's American Dealer maintaining the lead at a length and a half. Splash Brothers been shadowing throughout. Then a gap of two. Groovy Joe third. Fun at the Beach starts first over fourth, but is stalled. Down to the inside fifth is B2B. Dragon sets behind weak cover. And the two trailers are Shooby Doo and Chase A. Channelver. But American Dealers led from the start and still does. Every chance for Splash Brother if he's good enough. 125 flat on the final turn. And American Dealer, now beginning to impose his will, is opened up by three on Splash Brother. Then fun at the beach toward the inside is Groovy Joe. Dragon Set's going to be wide with eight lengths to raise into the stretch. American Dealer, and now Splash Brothers finding his stride late in the game. American Dealer's almost home. American Dealer, too good. Splash Brothers, second best, third. Groovy Joe splitting horses from a good way back was B2B to be four. The circumstances tonight were just very different for horses like Dragon Set and Chase A. Chanover. Once American Dealer left inside of them, uh, they took back Chase of H Hanover far back, as was Dragon Set. Next race, start of the pick three, post time at 8.40. The, the rail horse, Sonny Weaver, N over the two non non -bear. Most parading for the seventh race, Borgata Pacing Series, leg two, start of the pick four. One is Sonny Weaver, N, owned by Jeffrey Cullerford and Pollock Racing, LLC. Carries the green and gold of Tim Tietrich. Two is scratched. Number three is Diamond Beach. Owned and trained by Ricky Bucci, the driver is George Brennan. Number four, as year's champ, this is the plan. Owned by Carr, Burke Racing, Weaver Buscemi, J&T Silver, and Purnell and Libby with Yannick Gingra. Number five is Astro Hanover. Owned by Ben Mondello and JB Racing with Joe Bongiorno. Number six is Tattoo Artist, owned by Cannon, Let It Ride Stables, and Diamond Creek Racing with Dexter Dunn. Seven is Western Joe, owned by Anthony Brugeri and Richard Tozies with Todd McCarthy. Post time coming up for race seven in two minutes. Gate is rolling. This field is on gate. Racing. Astro Hanover left in the center. Between horses, this is the plan. Away third came Sonny Weaver. Then Diamond Beach as they go to the first turn. Then Tattoo Waters and Western Joe. That's the six pack into the first turn. And the leader here is Ostro Hanover. But taken on on the outside by the multimillionaire. Here's This Is The Plan. This Is The Plan on the outside is up to grab the lead. Next and third is Sunny Weaver. Diamond Beach is settled back six lengths from the clearing favorite. Then comes Tattoo Artist. 
And the trailer is Western Joe, seven off the top. Opening quarter, 28 seconds flat. So it's this is the plan. Looking for his third one. Here, leading it by a length and a half. Sitting second is Ostro Hanover. Then Sonny Weaver. Diamond Beach, five off the lead. Tattoo Artist, the second choice at nine to five, will come from off the pace. And Western Joe has an uphill climb from last. Single file to the half. And this is the plan. This is the plan by a length and a half. Ostro Hanover, after the quick start, shadows the favorite. Then it's Sonny Weaver. To a half mile up in 57 and 3, 29 and 3, second quarter. Now to the outside. Diamond Beach has given his cue, and Dexter Dunn will follow with Tattoo Artist. About seven lengths from the lead and trailing has been a non factor Western Joe. They move across the back stretch, and this is the plan. Maintains the lead here. This is the plan with more than 2.5 in the bank, leading it by a length and a half on the outside, starting to chip away just a bit as Diamond Beach in at the hunt at the inside. Astro Hanover Tattoo Artist is perched to go wide. Three quarters, 124 and 4 on the final turn. So this is the plan. Getting tested here. Has turned aside. Diamond Beach toward the inside is Ostro Hanover. Tattoo Artist is going to three wide. And then Sonny Weaver, they're in the stretch. This is the plan. Going to have to stave off many challenges here. On the inside, the upset-minded Ostro Hanover coming to get. This is the plan. Ostro Hanover takes it at 21 to 1. This is the plan. No excuse there. The time was 153. Bond. Well, bearing out at the end of the stretch was was an invitation, and it certainly helped uh, Ostro Hanover and Joe Bajono get through along the inside. But he made the alert move at the start to be in the right spot, and being in the right spot made all the difference in this division of the Borgata. At a pacing series, the second leg tonight is number five, Ostro Hanover, upsetting it 21 to 1. On by Ben Mondello and JB Racing of New York and New Jersey, trained by Jen Bongiorno. The winning driver is Joe Bongiorno. Results official. Ostro Hanover, $44, $733. 54 exact to 152 546 The pick three... Scratch this. Post parading for the eighth race. We've got a pacing series. The second leg started the pick three. One is Covered Bridge. Owned by Burke Racing Stable, Weaver Bruschemi, J&T Silver, Purnell and Libby, and Mortgage Boys Stable with Yannick Jingra. Number two is Save Me a Dance. Owned by Brian Gordon in Morrison Racing Stables. Tim Tietrich will drive. Three is I'm Sir Blake. Owned by Douglas Oberheiser with Marcus Miller. Four Jacks Legend. Owned by Cryway, Good, Green, and Rich Lombardo Racing with Matt Kakeli. Todd McCarthy's driving five American history for owner Bradley Grant. There's six, Brave You Bondi. Owned by Edwin Bueller, Robert Van Ostrin, and Daniel Lagash, driven by Jason Bartlett. Seven is Scratch. Eight is Nicholas Beach. Owned by John Legacher, Michael Cote, and Jennifer Bongiorno Stable. The driver is Joe Bond. Is any of them? Car is moving. Final division of the second leg of the Borgata Pacing Series coming up. This field is on gate. They're off. Jack's legend out for the lead. Center of the track, it's American history. Away next to the inside, it's covered bridge with Save Me a Dance. Between rivals then, it's I'm Sir Blake. Around the turn, heading to the backstretch. Doing battle there inside Jack's legend, but American history will be quickest to the backstretch, and American history clears the top. Two lengths back to covered bridge in third. A gap of three, Save Me a Dance fourth, seven lengths from the speedy American history. Let me come back another two and a half as they get to the quarter pole. That's 
Brave You Bondi and Nicholas Beach is the trailer in seventh. About 10 lengths from the lead, opening quarter 26 and 2, and kicking clear here is a pumped up American history. American history is padded to lead to three and a half lengths. Jack's Legend, second, a two length separation to an unhurried covered bridge. Save me a dance. And Tietrich has that one in fourth at about six and a half lengths from the lead as they proceed in single file. That comes I'm Sir Blake and Brave You Bundy, and nothing so far from Nicholas Beach as American history rattles off a half mile in a demanding 54 and two. 28 seconds, even the second quarter. And American history is really moving along here. Now the lead is swelled to six lengths. In second is Jack's Legend. As time begins to run out there, length and a half back to Covered Bridge in third. Two and a half more to the tandem of Save Me a Dance. And on the outside is I'm Sir Blake, but it's been all about American history. Three quarters and one, 21 and three on the final turn. And something has to give here. American history still has a lead of four and a half. In second is Jack's Legend. Then on the outside, third is Covered Bridge. And I'm Sir Blake. The back marker's got to get going here as American history has led every step of the way and still leads it here by two and a half. But on the inside, Jack's Legend is coming on. And the legs are getting heavy on American history. Jack's Legend on the inside. Can Jack's Legend get there? Oh, he may have got there, but it's tight with American history. 151 and two. Spot. But Jack's Legend... Uh, we talked about, I think it was 30 yeah, seconds but, last but, quarter. But easy to get bottomed out in those fractions. And he was sitting in a two-hole off a 121-3 and three on a blistery cold night. And Matt Kelly did a great job keeping him interested. And when it came time to win the race... For Jack's Legend. Home by Good, Cryway, Green, and Rich Lombardo Racing. Trained by Josh Green up in time for Matt Kekeli. 4-5 exact to 24-20. 4 5, three, triple two, 26, even pick three, six, five, four, six hundred forty dollars Four of six tonight in the pick six, $55. There'll be a pitch racing program of just over $1,500.